up and scented. Right, let me turn off my crimbo tunes. Mm -hmm. What a fool I was. Hello, my loves. I hope you're all lovely and cozy. Hope you've got a nice warm drink. You have secured the snacks. And welcome to the final annual gift guide of this year. As you guys know, earlier this week, I actually posted a ultimate gift guide for her and also one for him. So I really, really hope you've been enjoying those videos this week. I hope they have hopefully given you hope, hope, hope. How many more times do I want to say ho? So my loves, today we have one of your favourite videos which is a his and a hers stocking from B&M. Each stocking has a budget of £20. Today's video is very, very kindly sponsored by ShopTagger and if you watch this video all the way until the end you will find out about their amazing $5,000 giveaway. Just in case you haven't heard of them before, ShopTagger is actually an app for your phone and also for your computer. And the best part is it is totally free and as always I will leave a direct link to ShopTagger in the description box below. I use ShopTagger every single time I do any kind of online shopping and it's so so handy this time of year. I don't know about anyone else but I do 99% of my Christmas shopping online and ShopTagger actually have this feature where you can make personalised lists so it keeps my Christmas is very very stress free because what I can do is browse all of my favourite websites for gifts and then save them to my personalised lists and everything is just kept nice and organised. Also as Black Friday is just around the corner ShopTagger will be an absolute godsend because you can save items now and ShopTagger will actually notify you as soon as they go into the sales so you won't miss out on any sales this Black Friday. Okay, first things first, once you click the link in the description box, first thing you'll need to do is get the button for your browser. So all you need to do is simply click get the free button, then you need to click add to Chrome, add extension, and as you'll see, a little blue button will appear at the top right hand side, and then you are all ready to go. Okay, next you need to know how to add items to your list. So simply head over to the store section, which is on the left hand side, and you can browse through thousands of different stores. I am gonna head over to, of course, the white company. And once I've had a little browse and found something that I like the look of, I simply click on that item, head over to the shop tagger button that we have just installed. Once I've clicked the button, I can then choose when I want shop tagger to notify me. So you can choose any price change, 25% off or 50% off. Shop tagger will actually notify you if the item comes back in stock as well, which is amazing. And then I can also choose which list I would like to save this item to. So of course I'm gonna click Christmas gifts and then save and that is how easy saving your items are. So this is what my personalized list looks like. As you can see, I've got one for pretty much everything. I'm currently saving lots of bits to my Christmas list so I can start collecting bits for my family. Okay, one of my favorite features on ShopTagger is the coupon scanner. So once you've found something online that you would like to buy straight away, you simply add it to your bag, head to the checkout, and then this little notification will flag up and ShopTagger will actually automatically scan the internet for coupon codes. So as you can see from just one click, I have instantly saved myself £3.80, which is absolutely amazing. The coupon scanner is a special feature if you use ShopTagger on your computer, so be sure to have the Google Chrome extension. A new one of ShopTagger's amazing features is you can actually earn money back through PayPal online. You simply head to the cashback section and you can browse through all of these different stores online. So you can actually earn money whilst you shop, which is incredible so my loves as always i will leave a direct link to shop tagger in the description box below and to save as much money as possible i would definitely recommend getting the app on your phone as well as on your computer if you have been keeping up with my gift guides this week you will know i'm including a giveaway in every single one of them this year so in today's video there will be two winners of the giveaway and each winner will win one of the stockings and all of the contents in today's video so you can choose whether you'd like to win his or hers so all you need to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the post notification bell you also need to follow me over on instagram give this video a big thumbs up and also comment below gems gift guide giveaway and which stocking you'd like to win so just pop in his or hers and also please 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 include your instagram handle so i can contact you if you are the winner i'll also pop all of the giveaway details down below just in case you did miss anything and yeah good luck everyone and the winners will be announced on the 1st of december <laughs> oh my god this is really funny so 
really loves anything that's like slightly fluffy and I've got my B&M stockings like laid out on the floor I have to take a picture on my phone and I'll insert it on screen but this is currently what she's doing she is just sat on the tiniest little part of the stocking she's like this feels comfy and I'm gonna sit on it. Okay I'm gonna start with her stocking today because I'm not gonna lie that's definitely my favourite one. I always feel like stocking fillers for men are so incredibly hard like you usually just end up getting like joke presents or chocolate. Every single year I'm blown away with the amount of gifts that B&M actually have like if you are on a budget this Christmas B&M is such an amazing place for gifts they honestly have just so many like not even stocking fillers like actual gifts okay so first of all in her stocking i picked up this cute little mug i just thought this was so cute they actually had so many different mugs in there and this one was a little bit pricey for a stocking filler it was four pounds which i mean isn't a lot of money but because i was trying to stay in a 20 pound budget I could have got a cheaper one, but I just felt like this one was so cute. I love how big the mug is. I feel like a big mug is absolutely essential when you're having hot chocolate. Like you need to just have like the big, cozy, oversized mug, obviously, so you can get more hot chocolate in there. And this comes with a little hot chocolate mix up here as well. I just thought this was so cute and a little pom-pom. I think this could also be a really nice little thing to pop in a hamper as well if you are making a loved one a hamper this year. Okay, next I picked up a Christmas essential, right? Some cozy socks. Now, these aren't just any cozy socks. These are B&M cozy socks and they're four pounds for a pack of four. Four pack for four pounds is actually amazing and I love the color of these ones. So they're all just white and gray with loads of different designs. They feel so cozy. They had, well, obviously Gemma because they're cozy socks. Who doesn't want toasty feet for Christmas? Like Christmas day isn't really Christmas day without some super snuggly socks. Do you know what I mean? Like in the evening when you've eaten your roast dinner, you've had your cheese board you've eaten an entire tub of celebrations and it's time to settle down and watch a Christmas film like do you know what I mean again they had these in loads of different colors so there really was sort of a color for everyone and also I find whenever you do a stocking always get something that's quite bulky just to fill out a bit of space like no one wants like a limp looking stocking you want it to look like bursting at the seams and like full of all of Santa's Christmas cheer. So I feel like with socks, you can really pop these at the bottom of the stocking and it just bulks them out. Next, I picked up this cute little Christmas candle. They had a few different ones of these. They had a gold one and also this really pretty pink one. So this one is in the scent Snowfall. Ooh, that smells so nice very Christmas and I just thought this was a cute little Christmas candle to pop in a stocking. Um, b and have got loads of different candles. I also picked up a few Yankee candles as well because they're like £15 in B&M which if you know about Yankee candle you will know that's like £10 cheaper than normal um, and they've got all the Christmas scents in at the moment so they've got fireside treats, Christmas Eve so best believe I picked all of those up. If you have got a slightly bigger budget for the stocking a Yankee candle would fit really really nicely in there especially at the bottom like that would bulk out the the bottom the bottom quarter of the stocking next i picked up another festive essential which is some hot chocolate but not any hot chocolate i found some gingerbread hot chocolate which i was so incredibly happy about i actually bought some of this for myself as well which i'm so excited to drink i feel like hot chocolate is always a winner in a stocking or if they're more of like a coffee drink you could get a nice coffee b m have loads of different selections of coffee and hot chocolate and again nice bulky present and this was only one pound. Next we have my favorite thing about Christmas, the blooming chocolate coin. I don't quite know what it is that I love about chocolate coins. I think it might be the fact you've got to work for your chocolate. Peeling the foil off these is sometimes extremely tedious, but I don't know, they just, there's just something about the chocolate coin that hits differently. So I picked up a giant chocolate coin. As a kid, I just obsessed over these. Like I always just thought they were amazing. I think it's because I loved these so much. I was like a giant one. And I always used to beg my mum for one of these in my stock. Kind of reminded me of my childhood and made me feel really happy. So I got the big chocolate coin, which was one pound. And then I also got this gigantic pack of this one's got like notes in as well these are the proper bougie chocolate coins like there's not just five peas and two peas in there like there's actual 20 pound note chocolate coins i mean wow you could get the smaller sack of chocolate coins for a pound but i decided to opt for this i mean it's christmas 
so these were two pounds next i picked up a little notebook i feel like a new planner or a little notebook is such a nice little gift for christmas now b and didn't actually have a massive choice of these so this was kind of like the nicest one out of all of them It'd be nice just to write little shopping lists down and stuff like that so this was one pound and it's this pretty kind of like turquoise and pink with little bits of gold in there so a little bit festive marbly kind of pattern so as this year is the year of of giving hand sanitizer for gifts I decided to pick up this cute little unicorn hand sanitizer and you can like hang it I guess you could like hang this on your keys or you could hang this in your car so it's super handy and I just thought this was super cute and it was only a pound and it's strawberry scented and you know we we all need hand sanitizer right now so I thought this was also a little essential so next I picked up a little lip seal I went for this one from Carmex and this one is strawberry scented um, my mum always puts a lip seal in my stocking and she always finds such cute ones I actually had a conversation with her last night and I was like mum are we still doing stockings this year just because I feel like each year when I get older I need to just confirm with her that we're still doing stockings and she was like of course so yeah I love my mum's stockings are so cute like she just puts so much thought and effort into them and opening my Christmas stocking from her is just my favorite thing ever so yeah this kind of reminded me of my mum um but I feel like a lip balm it's always just a really nice again essential little present and this again was only one pound then I thought these were really really cool and I don't actually have a pair of these so I got myself some of these also these are lighter up tweezers they were only one pounds 50 i thought this was a nice little girly thing to receive in your stocking for a little pamper evening and i don't know about anyone else but i always have those pesky little hairs down here that i can never see so i thought light up tweezers would be very handy for those pesky uh little hairs on our faces so i mean if you don't want your girlfriend to have a hairy face head to b&m so staying pretty on budget i was pretty proud of myself at this point in b&m then I found something that just, it made me go way over budget, but I kind of wanted this to be a little extra because I thought what a brilliant stocking filler and I just had to buy it because I really wanted to show you guys. And I thought if you do have a little bit of a bigger budget for your stocking, maybe like 25 pounds or 30 pounds, then how cute are these mini straighteners? I had to pick them up. I just thought you would all love them so I thought do you know what it is worth going over budget they had a few different styles of these and they kind of reminded me of the Mark Hill ones you know the ones with the leopard print and zebra print and stuff like that on um, they had loads of different colors of these and I just thought for like travel purposes if you're going away for the weekend you're going away on holiday or you're going to your boyfriends for the weekend I just thought these would be really really convenient and also sometimes when I'm trying to style the front bits of my hair normal size straighteners are are almost sometimes a little bit too big so I thought with these little mini ones they would be perfect for anyone with curtain bangs I feel like you could really get in there and like pull them under so your hair's all flicky as you can see I got way too excited about these and just had to get them okay my lovelies moving on to his stocking the first thing I picked up was this little men's grooming accessory kit I feel like these are so generic to get a guy one of these in their stocking but I really loved the tin on this and I thought it was actually really really nice this was five pounds and it did use up quite a lot of my budget but i thought this could be like the main present in the stocking and also i thought about the size of this as well like this is quite big and it'll make the stocking look quite bulky so inside of here we have a limp brush and a shoehorn i still am unsure what a shoehorn is for could someone please tell me is it for putting your shoe on hmm. anyway they get a shoehorn a hair comb tweezers nail file manicure tool Finger and toenail clippers, oh my god, I swear. Jamie loses his toenail clippers so many times in a month. And you also get a moustache trimmer. So I just think that's actually quite a lot of little grooming accessories in one little tin. b &M have got so many like grooming kits like this. They've obviously got bigger ones which are a little bit more expensive. They have um, full on shaver sets. So yeah, if you are looking for that kind of thing, b &M have loads. So next I picked up some cozy slipper socks. Slipper socks or socks, again, are such an amazing stocking filler bulker um after my recent gift guide for him when jamie said his worst gift to get would be socks i've kind of been put off buying socks for life now so i thought i'll get some slipper socks because technically they're not socks they've got grippers on there and i thought these were quite a 
quite a manly print. And then again, I got a big bougie pack of the chocolate coins and also a giant one as well. Now, B&M, I feel like, is the mother land at Christmas chocolate. They really do have everything and it's always a pound or under as well. Um, oh, actually, something I had the other day, which was the nicest thing I've ever eaten, was I had a dairy milk chocolate orange snowman oh my goodness i literally ate it last week and i've been thinking about it daily since i ate it because it was just delicious something else you could get as well is a nice box of chocolates for the stocking because that would again take up a lot of room and it's a nice kind of shape to fill out like the middle bit of the stocking um they had some really yummy lint ones in there but obviously my budget was blown so i couldn't get them um but the white chocolate lindor balls are oh god so nice also buy a big box of like the malteser little truffles and just take a few out and sprinkle them in each stocking so you're kind of like dividing them if you're doing a few stockings um i honestly feel like a stocking is genuinely such an amazing gift obviously you could have a bigger budget like you could maybe have even a 50 pound budget for a stocking and make it really thoughtful and get all of their favorite things i just think that would be so cute i would be so happy with that hint hint jamie if you're watching this i would love a stocking okay next up for something fun to do on christmas day i picked up this general knowledge quiz i thought this would be cute to like play with the family or basically just to prove to them that they're not always right I also had a sports version of this and a movie one but the general knowledge one is just a little bit of everything it says it has geography science music film um yeah she's got a little bit of everything in there there's 50 cards with 100 questions so that should keep them nice and entertained on christmas day and this was only two pounds 50 again you can't go wrong with a little notebook this is the manliest one i could find just a black plain notebook i know it's a little bit boring but the rest were like pink and sparkly and unicorny and I, I just didn't think the guys in our life would appreciate that. So I just picked up this little black one which is just ruled and again just a nice little essential and it was only £1. Listen, it's not Christmas if you don't get someone in your life a Lynx gift set. I don't know if they love them or hate them or it's like a joke but... I just thought this was real cute. So this is a little mini one and I thought these would be perfect for like their gym bag, even as just a little thing to pop in a wash bag. So inside of here you get one body spray and two body washes. So again, a really nice little essential and like I said, really good to take on the move, like in a gym bag or a weekend bag, something like that. So you haven't got to take the full size product. Another little non-stocking gift idea as well. Buy a new wash bag and then fill it with like all their favorite things. So like a little top up, but an upgraded top up of their existing wash bag. So you could pop in there some nice shower gel, maybe a new aftershave, um, some nice skincare. I always think that's a really like lovely gift. So next I picked up this little charcoal face mask. I feel like it's nice for men to pamper themselves as well and I don't feel like they do it enough. I also thought this could be something nice for you both to do together, maybe on Christmas morning. You could both have a little face mask whilst making your Christmas breakfast, or you could save this for like a cute little pamper night where you both just have a cozy night in. Again, B&M have loads of different face masks and this was only one pound. I'm sorry, but how adorable are these? I just love anything mini. I just think they're so cute. So these are little mini Nutella pots. So if you do have any Nutella fans, this would make such a cute little gift. Um, this was two pounds. You know, they can use them on their toast, on their oats, on pancakes. Like, the possibilities end us when it comes to Nutella. And then last but definitely not least in the hamper. Now, this is quite random. I don't know if anybody is going to be able to relate to me here, but... Is anyone else's boyfriend or dad or brother or just male in their life obsessed having fluff on their black clothes and constantly rolling it off? Like, I don't know about anyone else, but like, I'm genuinely always covered in Tilly's cat hair and I'm, I'm not really that fussed. Like, Jamie has to limp roll his entire body before we leave the house. So, I got a little mini pack of limp rollers and obviously they're mini, so... You know, I had to pick them up. I just thought these were a little essential. Again, you could split these between a few different stockings or you could buy them for yourself and just pop one in there as just like another little thing. I feel like stockings are all about like the little cute quirky things. So now Tilly has decided to depart from the stockings. I picked two of these up from B&M. Now, B&M didn't have the best choice of stockings. They did have these gorgeous velvet ones. 
but they were personalized like they had an initial on which is such a cute idea and if you are buying a stocking for someone they were gorgeous but because obviously I'm giving these stockings away I didn't want to get one of those because I thought it'd be a bit random for one of you to just receive a really random initial on. I opted for these plain ones which are still really really nice. I feel like they're very festive and very traditional and these were £2 each which I think is a really good price for a nice stocking. So my loves we have reached the end of the last annual gift guide. I actually feel a little bit sad about it but then also excited because it means we're one step closer to Christmas. As I mentioned earlier Shop Tagger are actually giving away a $5,000 gift card to a store of your choice which is absolutely insane. If I won that gift card I actually think I'd choose the white company so I could have white company candles for life. So to enter Shop Tagger's amazing giveaway, all you need to do is download Shop Tagger's extension to Google Chrome and also download the app on your phone if you haven't already. And then you need to save at least three items to your list. Now, the more you actually use Shop Tagger across your devices, so on your phone and on your computer, the more chance you actually have at winnings. Maybe make yourself a Black Friday list and go and have a real browse at all of your favourite stores. So then you're saving items that you really want, but you're also increasing your chances of winning the giveaway. So you need to enter the giveaway by November the 24th, and then if you win, Shop Tagger will email you on the 25th of November, and you will get to choose a $5,000 gift card for any online store of your choice. Comment below which store of choice you would choose I would definitely choose the white company I'm just thinking about the unlimited amount of candles that I could get my hands on so my loves I really really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to enter the shop tagger giveaway and also my giveaway as well I will pop all of the details in the description box below so if you are unsure on everything all of the details will be below I have so much fun Christmassy content coming your way so if you aren't already subscribed please don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you guys on Wednesday for a nice long homely vlog Love you guys so much. Bye.